Welcome to the California garden in the month of February. This month we reap the winter harvest and prepare the garden for the upcoming spring season. We will begin with a garden tour. We will look at the harvest we made this month. We will look at some things for you to do in your garden and finally we'll take a look at some cool gardening products. So let's begin with the garden tour starting with the raised beds. We have our single black cobra pepper plant. We moved the other pepper plant into the greenhouse as it was very cold. The rest of the bed just has a lot of compost that was added and it's being prepared for the next growing season. On the next bed we have a lot of beet plants that are growing and as you can see here they are growing pretty well now. You can see some beets being formed as well and I think in about a month the beet should be ready for harvest. On the other side we have the broccoli plants. This is the green magic broccoli plant and the broccolis have grown very well and now it is producing side shoots. Right next to the broccoli plants we have some cabbage plants that are growing and these cabbage plants should be ready for harvest very soon. And on the other bed we have some onion plants as you can see. Next to the onion plants we have some potato plants. Now these are the potato plants that we were growing in trenches. As the potato plants grow, we will be covering up these potato plants with some soil and then they'll be able to grow well and produce potatoes under the soil. And moving on to containers, we have our Swiss chard plants that are growing very well. And we have been harvesting Swiss chard till now and it's been a few months since we're harvesting some Swiss chard from these plants. And right next to that we have a tomato plant. This is our first tomato for the season and it's been very cold so it's not been growing that well. Same thing with the eggplant as you can see here it's not growing that well due to the cold weather. And finally we have the cabbages which is growing well and that's because it's a cool season crop. We also have our potato plants growing in containers that have come up now and they will grow well through the early spring season. In our other containers we have our ivy gourd plants that are pretty much dormant now. Our mulberry tree which is growing well and the pineapple tree seems to have survived the winters very well. As you can see here growing well along with the citrus trees. And now let's look at the harvest we made this month beginning with bananas. We harvested our Rajapuri bananas and the first thing we are doing is cutting off the dried flowers and then we are harvesting the bananas and as you can see here beautiful looking bananas they can be used either raw or they will ripen up very quickly on the shelf. We also harvested a lot of broccoli this is the green magic broccoli and what you're seeing here is the main head of the broccoli being harvested and the main head of the broccoli is the largest head in the plant and as you can see here this is the main head and this is going to be the bulk of your harvest. Once again here's one more plant. We planted about five or six plants in this raised bed and all of them produced pretty decently sized broccoli heads. Now once the broccoli has yielded the main head you will also see a lot of these small broccoli florets growing along the sides of the plant and you can just harvest them by just chopping them off. Throughout the life cycle of this plant as the plant grows larger you will see a lot of these broccoli florets growing along the sides of the plant and you can harvest them for quite some time. And this is the best part about growing broccoli is that even after you harvest the main head of the plant you can still keep harvesting the florets from the sides and you can extend your harvest season for quite a long time. Moving on to cabbage, we harvested cabbages from our containers. As you can see here, beautiful looking cabbage and the weather has been really cold. It's been cold and rainy and due to that I did not see any insects or any kind of holes in this cabbage. As you can see here, this is a beautiful looking cabbage head and very easy to grow in this container. Moving on to cauliflower. We harvested a lot of cauliflowers from our raised beds and I think cauliflowers were one of our biggest harvests for the season. 
as you can see here beautiful looking cauliflower head and here's one more and this raised bed has a lot of compost and I made sure that I added more and more compost in this raised bed and the results are pretty telling you can see that the cauliflower heads are pretty well sized they look beautiful and I love growing cauliflowers in the garden just because they are so crunchy and so delicious when they are eaten fresh. And the cauliflower leaves are edible as well. You can bake them, you can make them just like kale chips, you can add some spices and bake them. They taste pretty amazing. And here is one more cauliflower head. And as you can see for the cauliflowers as well, because of all the rains that we are getting, the cauliflowers hardly have any insects or diseases and this is actually the first season that I've seen that most of my vegetables did not have any insects on them, no diseases on them. Meyer lemons. Now these lemons are specially grown for making lemonades and this is not a true lemon. This is actually a cross between a lemon and some other citrus variety like an orange. And what you get is a lemon that's not so tart. So it's actually a lemon. It's not sweet, but it's not tart as well. So some people really like the flavor of Meyer lemons. And Meyer lemons make excellent lemonade. If you use Meyer lemons to make lemonade, put a comment in the comments box below. Mint. Mint is a herb that you can easily grow in your home garden in containers. And as you can see here, we are growing this in a whiskey barrel container. We are harvesting the mint leaves. And as you can see here, very fresh and very delicious. Mint is pretty much a maintenance free plant. You can just grow them in containers like these and then harvest them as you need it. Now what do we do with mint? We actually make mint rice where you can add mint and spices to rice and it makes a great dish. And as you can see here, once again, beautiful looking mint and probably one of the herbs you can easily grow to get fresh mint from your garden. Now there's another way to harvest your mint plants, which is to cut them to the base. As you can see here, we are pretty much cutting it down to the base of the plant. And this will still be okay because the mint plant is quite an aggressive plant. And although you are chopping them down to the base, as you can see here, they will grow back very quickly. If you haven't seen our episode on growing mint, I highly recommend that you check it out. Mulberries. We were growing mulberries in this container. This mulberry plant actually started producing berries very early in the season this year. And as you can see here, we are harvesting these mulberries which go from a red color to black as you can see here they are quite small and we are harvesting them from this mulberry plant which can be very easily grown in this whiskey barrel container now the mulberries usually ripen in spring however this time they ripen in the winter season so that was pretty interesting Oranges. These are the Washington Naval Oranges and we harvested our final set of Washington Naval Oranges from our Washington Naval Orange plant. And these Alaskan shelling type peas were growing well on our trellis and we were able to harvest quite a lot more pods this month. And moving on to radishes. Now we were growing these white radishes in our raised beds. And as you can see here, beautiful looking radish. And January and February were the two months where we harvested most of our radish. And this is the winter radish. It takes quite a long time to grow. But as you can see here, beautiful looking radish. Quite big. Along with the other radish variety, the red French breakfast radish variety. This was the other radish variety that we were growing. Now this radish can be grown in raised beds as well as in containers and most of our radish was grown in raised beds. Mandarins. These are the Kishu mandarins that were growing in a container and we harvested quite a lot of Kishu mandarins this month. As you can see here just beautiful looking mandarins. 
and this is now becoming one of my favorite mandarin plants to grow extremely juicy and delicious fruits moving on to weed grass now we had a detailed episode on growing weed grass and as you can see here we did harvest some weed grass this month weed grass is extremely nutrition dense it has a lot of vitamins and minerals and something that i highly recommend that you grow in your garden and you consume and weed grass is just extremely easy to grow if you follow our growing guide you will see that it's so easy to grow and it is something that you should be growing in your home garden now let's look at the things for you to do this month the first thing we are doing is we are continuing to grow our winter vegetables like radish as you can see here and we are also preparing some seed starting mix using compost vermiculite and some coco core and what you just do is mix it up thoroughly and this will form a very good seed starting mix and this is a good time to start your summer vegetables if you haven't already if you've been following my videos you would have started your summer vegetables in january that's the optimal time to start your summer vegetables but if you haven't it doesn't hurt to start it in february as well you still have about 4 to 6 weeks to go so all the seeds that we sowed germinated very well in the greenhouse pretty quickly in fact this is the progress within about a week or so we have some gourds we have some tomato plants we have eggplants some peppers so a lot of summer vegetables that are now germinating and available for transplanting within about 4 to 6 weeks and now let's look at some gardening products you can see a lot of winter vegetables for sale at your local home depot and you can also see some summer vegetables for sale however you need to make sure that you only buy the cool season crops like cabbage cauliflower now because it's still very cold outside and you do not want to start your summer vegetables yet if you have volunteer plants growing like a tomato plant that's a different story but if you're buying plants you should wait for some time before you set them out Now Home Depot also has a lot of fruit trees you can see some guava trees you can see some mango trees they also have a lot of passion fruit trees now the passion fruit trees are extremely beautiful they are vines that grow in a constrained space in your garden and produce these beautiful fruits and they also have a lot of bare rooted plants like strawberries raspberries blackberries and some others So there are a lot of plants that you can buy from your local Home Depot and start planting them in your home garden. So there we have it folks that was our episode on the California garden for the month of February. If you like this video do give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and click on the bell button to get all future updates. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.